guys, I'll definitely be doing more videos like these, having more workout breakdowns, uh, exercise breakdowns, how to formulate structure, your workouts, periodization. And on the community side, we will be getting extremely detailed and custom uh, with those same things and more conducive to your goal. So if you have requests, Q and A's, you can drop that in the community and I will start giving the breakdowns on what you guys are requesting. So, but for today's video, I want to talk about the bench press and just changing one thing will have a dramatic effect on your bench to get stronger and to reduce injury. When I see people benching, right? I've been training over 20 years at this point. I've been many states, countries, you know, all different types of gyms, all different types of people, you know, people with degrees and <laughs> in, in it, competitors. And the majority of the time, people are not bench pressing properly. They have improper form and it's an injury waiting to happen or injury has already happened or you are sacrificing yeah, the opportunity to put so much more size on and to get stronger, which and at the end of the day, everybody wants to be stronger. I don't care who you are, what you do, where you come from. We all want to be strong. We wouldn't mind having some little bit more muscle, but everybody wants to be strong. And you guys are, are sacrificing the opportunity to get stronger because of improper form. When you are benching, yes, you are developing your chest, upper body, but it, it's a really, it's a still, it's still a full body movement because the energy and the power doesn't start from your arms or your chest, it starts from your feet. And then there's a kinetic chain that you know, sends power from your feet all the way through the bar. So just by you guys engaging more of your lats, now mind you, I could spend hours just talking about all the cues and different things to look at when you are, you know, if you wanna do a proper bench. But if you guys just start engaging your lats more, that alone will be such a game changer for you guys, I'm telling you. The first one, stability. Think about how big your lats are. And with benching, you need to be as tight as possible. You should not be wobbly. If I see people on the bench and they're wobbly, you know, or they're shaking, you're already telling me, you know, you're not engaging certain muscle groups to have a controlled and tight bench. So you're not gonna be as strong and you can run the risk of throwing out those shoulders i'm telling you how many people have had shoulder problems shoulder issues my shoulder hurts or something so with the lats if you engage your lats you will be stabilized and if you are stabilized you allow the driving force to run through your body the second one is the bar path which is super important when it comes to having a proper and successful bench press with the with the bar path Meaning, where are you the most powerful? Okay, it's not going to be too far towards your head and it's not going to be too far to your stomach. You have to find the sweet spot, right? And, every, and I can show you guys, if you guys want me to, how to find the sweet spot in your bench press. And once you do find that bar path and engage those lats, you can stay in that position, in that trajectory, that you will have a very successful and powerful lift. And then the next one I did allude to it is the power transfer. It's, it's a chain, guys. It's not just the upper body doing the work. It is the whole body. You are driving from your feet, and that energy is going from your feet, legs, back, all the way out. So if you have, a, that's why everything works synergistically, right? Similar to this like life and what we talk about, right? You cannot have lagging parts. You're not, you cannot have weak spots because they all do play a factor somewhere, right? They all do matter. They are all important in some way or another. And your lats are important to your bench, right? So if you want to have a bigger chest, then you need to have a stronger back, okay? right? If you want to have a stronger back, then your glutes and your, your hams, your hamstrings need to be on point. If you want to have increased your deadlift, for example, to increase driving force. I'm going on a, a tangent here, but you get what I'm saying. So you want to have a driving force, the kinetic chain, going through the legs, through your back, and then coming out of the bar, right? So if your back is weak, you're not training your back already, right? You skip back workouts. You're not really taking time to develop your back. 
and then you're not in, even engaging your back on the lift, once again, you are leaving a lot of opportunity to put some pounds on that bar, right? So, and there's, I mean, so many other reasons, you know, uh, injury prevention, taking some of the load off of the shoulders. I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on, but I don't want to make this video too, too long. So how do I engage my back on the bench press? There's a few cues. One easy cue that you can look into or think about. Someone don't have your arms flared out like this, guys. Like you're making a little 90 degree. Your elbows will actually be hooked. Okay. It's almost like you're trying to bend the bar. You can always look at it like that. When you're lifting, when you're benching, think about trying, you're trying to bend the bar. Okay. You want to sink into your scapula. Your, your scapula should be synced in. So when I get on the bench up here, and I'll talk about where your hands position should be, right? Drive in, my legs are engaged. I'm not flat on the back on the bench. Okay, I know my shirt's bad, you can't really see from this position, but I have a curve, it's not exaggerated. And now I'm sinking my scapulas in, and I'm locked and I'm stabilized. Bar comes out, I bend the bar, I know my bar path, engage. Range with it. And then I'll talk about breath control. So it'll be different things. But I'm bending the bar, finding my bar path, and we're pushing. So if you were to make that adjustment right there, I promise you, I guarantee you, you will see an improvement in your bench. So I'll leave it with that. Let me know if you have any more questions or requests. Like I said, I want to do, and I am going to do more of these videos, and I, I want to do more custom videos for you guys. So if I see a common theme with, with the request, I'll do that. If I see a common theme when it comes to the diet, supplements, things like that, I'll put those videos out. So let me know. Let's get it.